Hey everybody, Resident Master of the Impossible Christina Cola here at your service. Now usually I do a card trick for you, but this time I'm not gonna. Can you guess why? If you guessed that it's because I'm gonna do some kind of other trick, you'd be correct. I've got something in this hand. Any idea what it is? Well, a couple of things. If you said severed heads, you'd be wrong. There are actually some coins. Now they're interesting coins, I'll show them to you here. First coin I've got here is a copper coin, it's an English penny. Now they don't make these anymore, and they're pretty much useless in America anyway. But it's an interesting coin. The next coin I've got is my favorite of the three. This is a brass Chinese coin. And if you can see, it's got a hole in the center. Anyway. And of course this coin is probably one you're all familiar with, good old Kennedy half dollar. Now, this half dollar is not made of silver, but it's silver in color, so I'll call it silver, just because I can do that. Copper, silver, brass. Now, right, here's what I'm going to do. Very simple. I'm just going to close my hand over the three coins. And I'm going to reach in here with just two fingers. I'm going to remove one coin, the silver coin, and I'm going to place it into my pocket. Now, what two coins does that leave in here? If you said the copper coin and the brass coin, you would be absolutely correct. And the silver coin is over here. Okay. That was round one, that's pretty easy. Now here's round two. Again, I'm gonna close my hand over the coins. And actually, you know what, I'll do this right out in the open for you. I'm just gonna take these two coins right here. Now, if I take these two coins and I place them into my pocket, what does that leave here? If you said the silver coin, well, that time, you'd be wrong. It's actually the copper coin and the brass coin. The silver coin is over here. Okay, now that wasn't fair. You didn't know what to expect. So here, I'll do it again. Just close my hand over the coins. I'll reach in and I'll remove one coin, the silver coin. And I won't even go to my pocket this time. I'll just place it in this hand. Now, what does that leave over here? If you said the copper and the brass coin, you would be wrong. The silver coin is actually over here. The copper and brass coin is over here. And like you can see, the Chinese coin still has a hole in the center. All right. Now, I kind of feel bad because you're not quite understanding how I do this, how I'm making the coin switch. I'll actually teach you. I'll actually tell you how I do this trick. It's very simple. All I do is I have two extra coins right over here. I have an extra brass and copper coin. And I keep these in my right pocket over here, and here's what I do. I close my hand over the coins. I reach in, and I take out the half dollar. I wait for you to blink. And as soon as you blink, I go into my pocket just a little bit slower than the speed of sound, and I take out the other two coins. And that's how I get them in this hand. Of course, it doesn't explain how I get the silver coin back in this hand, but can't give away all my secrets. And if you were here, I'd let you inspect these coins to see that they are normal coins, but you're not here, so you're gonna have to take my word for it, even though I've been known to lie about certain things. For example, well, I'm lying about that. I don't actually lie. I lie, but I don't lie. I'll let you figure that out. Anyway, until next time, see you later.